a new crew launches to the space station, graduating a new class of Artemis astronauts, and a group of tiny lunar roving robots are ready to roll. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On March 3rd, NASA's SpaceX Crew-8 mission launched to the International Space Station from our Kennedy Space Center. Two days later, the crew, including NASA astronauts Matthew Dominic, Michael Barrett, and Jeanette Epps, safely arrived at the station. They will spend several months conducting scientific research aboard the orbital laboratory to prepare for human exploration beyond low Earth orbit and to benefit humanity on Earth. On March 5th, we held a ceremony at our Johnson Space Center to graduate a new class of Artemis Generation astronaut candidates. After completing more than two years of basic training, the astronaut graduates earned their wings and are eligible for space flight, including assignments to the International Space Station, future commercial destinations, missions to the moon, and eventually missions to Mars. NASA is accepting applications for our next class of astronaut candidates. Find out more at go.nasa.gov slash astro2024. Engineers at our Jet Propulsion Laboratory are done assembling and rigorously testing three small robotic rovers that are slated to be delivered to the moon by an intuitive machine's Nova Sea lander on a future mission. Part of our Cooperative Autonomous Distributed Robotic Exploration, or CADRE technology demonstration, the solar-powered rovers will work together to autonomously explore and map the moon's surface. The goal is to show that a group of robotic spacecraft can accomplish tasks and record data as a team without explicit commands from mission controllers on Earth. Our James Webb Space Telescope has helped find the first clear evidence that the galaxy GNZ 11, one of the brightest, youngest, and most distant galaxies ever observed, is hosting a central, supermassive black hole that is rapidly accreting matter. The finding makes this the farthest active supermassive black hole spotted to date. The galaxy, which was initially detected by our Hubble Space Telescope, existed when the universe was only about 430 million years old. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more about what else we're up to, check out nasa.gov.